All right, so today we're gonna install the power folding mirrors on my Civic. This is what's on my car right now. It's just these cheap uh, mirrors that are like all broken and stuff. And the mirror isn't that great. They're, they shake a lot and stuff. So we're just gonna replace those with the power folding mirrors. And uh, so let's get started doing that. All right, so we're gonna start off with taking the door panel off. So then there's the screw. There's a screw in there. There's a screw in there. The window crank has a little clip in it. There used to be one here, but mine's missing. Then other than that, we just pull the panel away from the car. These are eight mils. There's three of them. All the mirror plates. Mine already has one on there. Show you how it fits. Yeah, it's pretty good fitment. That's all there is to the inside of the actual mirror. The rest of it is just running the wires through the door. and under the dash to where we're gonna connect to the wiring harness but that's it for installing the actual mirror all right all right so we're prepping the wire harness for the mirrors and i use the tape to section it off a bit It's just to hold all the wires together. We're not putting tape all over. We'll get wired in for that to cover them up. This is just to hold them all. That's a harness. All right, I'm gonna test them. I'm gonna connect these to the pigtails on each mirror, see if they both work properly. And then if they work properly, then we'll tuck it all under the dash. And then that'll be it. Alright, so I got the pigtails all connected to the main wiring harness temporarily. So now I'm just gonna plug them into the mirrors. So I'm just plugging them now like that just so I can test it. Alright, so we're just gonna do some temporary 
connections. We're gonna ground this this black wire. All right, so I got them temporary wired. under the dash like it's supposed to be and then just connect them and that's about it all right so right now what I'm doing is I'm just tidying up my wire harness for my mirrors so I'm gonna like cut this and make it the same length just to clean it all up just stuff like that all right and here's the finished product this is the driver's side mirror, the switch, the power to the ignition switch, our ground, and our 12 volt power source, our relay, and the lead to the passenger window. There it is, all, all neat now. Nothing's hanging loose or anything, and it's just gotta go under the dash and connect it. And that's about it. So I'll put it in the dash, and that's gonna be next. All right, so we are under the dash today. Got everything taken apart and got this metal piece. It goes in there, two 10 millimeter bolts, took them out. And I'm gonna be running my wiring harness across to the passenger side and to the and to the driver's side. I uh, need both hands for this, so I probably won't be recording all the, everything but I'll probably just show you the end result. All right, so this is my block plate for my switch. So it's gonna go behind here and punch it out. There we go. All right, so that's where my switch is gonna go. And this is my harness. So I gotta put this in through the back like that. Yeah. And that one too. That button goes here. Yes, that button goes in there. Go, now you put it. All right, you put it. No, no. You gotta connect it first. Let me Hold on. I need help. You need help? Okay. There you go. It's connected. My baby's helping. I'm going to put in here. There you go. Okay, let it go. Let it go stand like that. All right. So, the harness is all tucked in behind the dash on the yeah. driver's side and the passenger side. Yeah. Ooh, sorry about that glare. Yeah. And and uh, I'll pass the door into the door in there. And then up to the mirror. I just got a zip tie holding it there for now. So now that's the mirrors and that's the harness. So now the only thing I have to do is connect that yeah. 12 volt, yeah. that ground yeah. and that 
a 12 volt switch. There's my relay box. And this is where I connected my 12 volt to, to that option there. That's on the diagram, it says that's for battery. And that's for battery. And then my ACC switch, I connected it to here. On the diagram, it shows that that's uh, option that goes to the to the uh, ignition switch. So it works when the ignition switch is on. So, and then this is my ground. So my ground is gonna go there. So let me just put it on so I can show you how it works. All right, so I got ground, I got power, and I got power to my, from my switch. So without the switch, it's turned off, so it's not working. Turn the switch on. And now, that's the power connections that I had to make. Now to hit the power folding right here. They fold in. I'm gonna shot of the passenger side. All right, so that's my connections under the dash and my relay box. I have to get that bracket and we'll fit it here somewhere in the location after I get the bracket for it. For now, I'm just gonna tuck it in. But yep, those are my last connections that I had to make. My 12 volt, my 12 volt switch and my ground. So I'm just gonna put everything back up. I gotta put this back on and then the plastic piece that covers it. But those are all my connections. All right. All right. Fitting on the door panels. And then the little block plate, when I get it, because mine didn't have any, should cover that up. And that should be done. All right, so one final shot at the power holding mirrors. There's my mirror, passenger, switch. And they're both working now. So that's it. Now I have power folding mirrors. All right, one more part of this project done. Later.